Now, the Senate on Tuesday referred President Muhammad Buhari's $30 billion loan request under the federal government's 2016-2018 external borrowing plan to its committee on local and foreign debts for further legislative work. The Senate leader, Senator Yahya Abdullahi, had presented the loan request at plenary. The loan request has continued to attract criticism from different stakeholders in the country. However, the Senate President Ahmed Lawan gave indication that the National Assembly may approve the loan. President Buhari had in a later dated November 26, 2019, said the 8th National Assembly approved only a part of the external borrowing plan loan request forwarded to it in September 2016. This, according to him, stalled the federal government's implementation of critical projects spanning across the mining, power, health, agricultural, water and educational sectors. Still on Senate matters, the Senate says it will give priority to the Petroleum Industry Bill, Electoral Reforms Amendment Bill and the amendment of the 1999 Constitution when it resumes plenary in January 2020. The President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, while highlighting the achievements of the Senate within the past six months, said the Senate has improved its relationship with the House of Representatives, the executives and critical stakeholders in the country. Senator Lawan promised the Senate will ensure the Electoral Reforms Amendment Bill is passed ahead of the next general elections in order to avoid pitfalls that trailed the passage of the bill in the 8th National Assembly. The 9th Senate has enjoyed a harmonious working relationship with the House of Representatives and the executive arm of government. The benefits of the harmonious relationship with the executive are evident in the timely passage of the budget and finance bills and the prompt, prompt, prompt assent by the president to the deep offshore and inland basin production sharing contract act cap D3, elephant 2004, amendment bill 2019. Our desire for cordial relationship with other arms of government notwithstanding, the Senate and indeed the Ninth National Assembly will continue to firmly exercise its oversight role on the executive agencies with a view to ensuring transparency, accountability and good governance. I assure you that the Ninth Senate and indeed the National Assembly will not betray the trust of the people. Some of the bills that we accorded priority when we returned from the Christmas and New Year break in January are the Petroleum Industry Bill, Electoral Reforms Amendment Bills, and Amendment of the 1999 Constitution. The Electoral Reforms Amendment Bill is a priority because of the urgent need to improve our electoral processes and skewer the demo democratic gains that were made in the Fourth Republic. We want to pass the bill well ahead of the next electoral cycle in 2023 and avoid the political hit and pitfalls that imperil the efforts of the 8th National Assembly, which passed the same bill close to the last general elections. We are not oblivious of the interest and concern some of these bills have generated from the public, but we must not forget that lawmaking is a rigorous process that allows for all sides of the argument to be heard and the true will of the people established before a bill becomes a law.